Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So in this video we have our classifying triangles mastery check where you get the opportunity to see and do a few of these on your own to see if you have it down. If you need a little more help or instruction I dropped the link to my instructional video down in the description. So if you need to go check that out go ahead and watch that video and then come back to the mastery check. If you're ready for the mastery check, you should have something out to write on and to write with um, as you do these on your own. Now, I'm going to say pause here in a few seconds. You pause the video, complete all six of these. When you're ready, press play, see how you did. Compare your answers with mine. Now, for each six of these triangles, you should classify by its sides and angles. Okay, so whenever you're ready, go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. I'm going to assume you have all six of those done. You have each classified by both its sides and angles. So let's start with number one here. So we take a look at the sides and we have two that are congruent, which means the same, um, and then one that is different. So two congruent sides, isosceles triangle. Now as far as the angles go, it looks like we have um, all angles are less than 90 degrees, so that will make it an acute triangle. Number two, as we look at the sides, none of the sides are congruent or the same, so it is considered scalene. And then we, could, we would classify this triangle by its angles as a right triangle because it has a right angle. Number three, all three sides are the same. So that is what we call an equilateral triangle. And then all sides are less than 90, so acute. Let's head up to number four there. Two side lengths congruent, so isosceles. And all angles are less than 90, so acute. Number five, it looks like none of the side lengths are congruent, so it would be scalene. And then we have an angle that is greater than 90, so obtuse. Number six, we have two side lengths that are congruent, so isosceles. And we have one angle that is greater than 90, so obtuse. All right, there you have it. There are the six classifying triangle examples for your mastery check, classifying by both sides and angles. Hopefully everything went well there for you. If you need a little more help or instruction, like I said, the instructional video link is down in the description. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, peace.